Oh, hello there. You must be the beautiful Felicity. Michelle! On second thoughts, this could only be the very clever and also very beautiful Michelle. So you and Jack are friends? Ah, oh, yeah, we're best mates. Hasn't he told you about me? Um, just not that I can remember. Well, what did you say your last name was? O'Neill. Connor O'Neill. It's probably just as well you've hadn't heard about me. You know, you probably wouldn't have let me through the front door if you had. Oh, no, don't look so worried. Um, actually, Jack spent a bit of time with me and my family. I actually think my parents liked him better than me because he was a big soccer star and <laughs> everything. But uh, he said that if I was ever in the area, I should look you guys up because you'd be happy to repay the favour. Ah, well, I can see by the looks on your faces you think I'm a complete raven lunatic or an axe murderer or something. <laughs> no, he just caught us a bit on the back foot, mate. Yeah, um, well, Jack didn't say you were coming. So, do you play soccer too? Ah, uh, no. I've got two left feet. It's my brother who's the soccer player, actually. That's how I came to meet Jack. So, uh, Connor, you, you, you say you just arrived? Uh huh, yeah, today. Well, you uh, wouldn't have seen much of the place, would you? Uh, no. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't I give myself a guided tour and uh, you can call Jack and make sure I am who I really said I am. All right, so just point me in the direction. Right, OK. Um, thank you. See you later. Bye. Just me or is anyone else hungry? I'm out of here. Oh, come on, Darcy. Don't be such a lightweight. Have a good night, boys. No, go on. Well, Connor, I don't I believe it. Right. This is the guy I sat next to on the plane all the way from London. Cool. Now, how about a beer? Can I buy a drink? Uh, no, I don't know. Rubbish. You know, 24 hours on a plane, the movies they were showing were Pretty completely bad. terrible. And the food was awful. Oh, yeah. And if it wasn't for you talking complete rubbish, I think I would have asked for a parachute. <laughs> now, I'm buying you a beer. Oh, it doesn't matter. Can't rubbish. I'm... He'll have a beer. I should know. I bought enough of them on the plane. <laughs> uh, I'm Connor. Connor O'Neill. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. What part of Ireland are you from, Connor? Oh, we turned outside Belfast originally. Oh. And how long are you going to be here? I'm not really sure at the moment. How about you, Mark? Well, that depends. On what? How long you can put up with me? Ah, <laughs> oh, forever. <laughs> I don't know about that. If you don't get your bag back soon, you're going to get a bit pongy wearing the same clothes all the time. Still no word. Nope. I'm starting to think there's Buckley's chance of ever seeing that bag again. Mm. Um, look, you know what? I don't feel right just barging in here the way I have. Like, I might dog off because it means you know, it's your son's first night back. I'm sorry, I've got enough food here to take the third give world. Give nah, look, it's been really good and everything, but I mean, I'm sure I'll catch us all later. Oh, all right. oh, okay. Oh, well, nice to meet you. You too, sir. Yes. yes. Well, you come back any time, won't you? Right, Hello, Mel Kennedy. All right, Connie. Bye-bye. Right. Yes. Mum, are you ready say goodbye to Tad? Okay, then. Hey, don't be too long now. You've got to fill me in on where to go and what to see. A girl like you looks like she know where all the beautiful people are. Oh, hi, Joe. How's it going? Fine, thanks, Connor. Connor O'Neill, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, that's me, yeah. What's this, then? 